Crybdis is the child of Gia and Poseidon. She was originally born a nymph who served her father. Crybdis was charged with the task of flooding dry land in the name of her father's kingdom. As such, she is credited with being responsible for the ebb and flow of the daily tides throughout the world. This all changed, however, when she managed to attract the attention and the ire of the mighty Zeus. She was stealing and eating sheep belonging to Heracles, which he in turn had stolen from Gerion in his tenth labor. The fact that Crybdis had stolen what Heracles had rightfully kidnapped enraged Zeus, and he punished her as a result. He transformed and imprisoned her at the Strait of Messina, trapped either in a cave or under the rock on which a huge fig tree grew. She was allowed to continue her duties, but only three times daily for ebb and three times daily for flow. Because of this action being centrally located, a huge whirlpool was formed in the strait, creating a danger to any who would attempt to pass. This danger is compounded by the fact that on the Sicily side of the strait lived another monster, Scylla, who would snatch sailors from ships that cruised too near her perch. Odysseus knew of the dangers presented by Crybdis and Scylla, and asked counsel of Circe for a way to safely pass between them. She advised Odysseus that there was no truly safe passage, but told him that if he were to sail closer to Scylla, he would lose only a few men, while sailing close to Crybdis he would lose his men, his ship, and his life. Odysseus begrudgingly did as advised, and lost six men from his crew. On his journey back, after all of his crew and most of his ship had been exhausted, Odysseus encountered Crybdis yet again. This time, it was just he and small scraps of his ship that he had formed into a raft. When he encountered Crybdis this time, she was sucking the seas downward. Odysseus survived this by clinging to a limb of the fig tree on her rock. The raft, however, was drawn down into her abyss. Odysseus clung to the tree for hours, waiting for Crybdis to relent the water and hopefully the raft when she expelled the ocean. The whirlpool that is the physical representation of Crybdis is now known as Galifolo or Garifolo. She is still credited with being in control of the daily tidal influences.